Hey everyone, welcome back to this channel. I'm Ali Reza and today I'm taking your AI chatbot to the next level. In this tutorial, I'll show you how to build a chatbot with memory. So your chatbot doesn't just answer questions using your data, it actually remembers the conversation context as it goes. I'll walk you through the whole process using Langflow and OpenAI step by step. So your chatbot can hold longer conversations recall past messages and feel much more intelligent and human-like. Let's dive in and bring your chatbot to life with memory. So we are in the Langflow environment. I'm expecting you also have this environment open. If you don't know how to install Langflow, I put the link in the video, then you can find out how to install Langflow locally. So then you don't need to go to internet for that. In order to start a new project, we can start uh, clicking on the new flow. And then here, uh, there are a lot of templates to use, but for now, I'm gonna start with blank flow. I wanna quickly show you how we can start everything from scratch. So it's very easy for any chatbot we create. We have a chat input, and we also have a chat output. This will be uh, uh, the, the, the fixed part of each uh, chatbot application that we need to create and then we need to start using any model that uh, we want to use in our project so here i want to use uh, openai so i'm going to say look for the openai and i drag the openai here so first thing first i connect the chat input to the input and also connect the message here to the chat output one thing interesting about Langflow is that you can uh, test each component separately and test the flow for that. So here, if I click on the wrong component here, as you can see, I get an error here and it says OpenAI is missing OpenAI a key. So actually this is the OpenAI API key that I need to fill in. In order to do that, you can go back to your OpenAI API uh, website and from there if you go to the api keys from there you can cre create a new secret key so i create a new one here and then immediately i get the key here this key should be saved and something secret i'm i'm gonna delete this uh key after uh, finishing this video so for me it's another problem that you can see it on the screen now I paste it here, and in order to test that, I will just run the component again. And as you can see uh, here, uh, it uh, went well, successfully uh, executed. And now I can click on the playground. And here I can uh, start uh, testing uh, the chatbot. I say, hi, I'm Alireza. So I can ask what is LLM so it gives me a definition of LLM here so now the question is now I had some chats here already and some uh, conversations with the chatbot if chatbot already knows my name or not what is my name As you can see, it says, I'm sorry, but I can't determine your name based on the information provided. So I could ask, do you remember my second question? So as you can see, it says it can't actually remember the previous interactions and questions. So obviously this uh, chatbot uh, doesn't uh, support the uh, memory for this uh, so what we need to do we need to uh, add extra component to create a memory chat but before doing that I want to show you also how, to, how you can use the Langflow template so I'm gonna close this uh, project uh, project go back to the actually the flow go back to the list of the flows for my project and uh, I can delete this one now I can create a new flow and this time I'm going to use the one of the templates here and the one of the interesting template here is the basic prompting so I click on the basic prompting here 
and as you can see it already has everything i need the chat input chat output and open ai in order to configure the open ai i go back to the api keys copy the key i have i paste it here so my keys is already correct and uh, one thing interesting also you can see here is the prompt prompt is also uh, configured here which means to configure the system prompt to create a more customized uh, chatbot here so the chatbot here is the gen ai expert agent that can help you about the gen ai topics so if i click on the playground now and uh, test it here okay it works my name is ali reza Now I say, do you remember, remember my name? As you can see, it doesn't work. Okay, now we already know that the, the, the memory chatbot doesn't work. Before uh, moving forward, I would like also to uh, remove this session. So I'm going to look up for the memory here. And uh, I forgot that the memory changed to the history actually previously it was the memory so message history is the one that we need so in order to do that i just uh, connect the message history here so what i need to do is to make sure that the message history is always included in the messages i am actually uh, sending to the open ai so now what i need to do is to configure the prompt and make sure that the prompt also has the message history with uh, itself so in order to do that, I click on the uh, prompt and uh, here it says history. And this way I can create a uh, parameter or variable here, right inside the uh, curly braces. So if I click on the check and save, what happens is that I get this option here which i can connect from the message history to this so it's really interesting so now this is done so what i need to do is to click on the controls here and i can see also some options here right and uh for now we don't need to configure but if you want to configure the message history there are some parameters here for example you can change the number of messages also there's a template here to change so you can change all of those things based on your requirement so now i can uh, test what i did if i click on the playground and uh, start hello my name is ali reza nice now let's ask the question what is the what is llm Now, I did some interactions with the chatbot. Let's ask uh, the first question. Do you remember my name? Yeah, it's really interesting. Now I got the answer uh, very well. Then, uh, yeah, it actually remembers my name. So if I ask, do you remember what was my second question interesting so as you can see it works very well so you can uh, use the message history to uh, add the memory functionality to your chatbot so your chatbot uh, remembers the previous messages and your chatbots also understand the context of the message and why this is useful because when you are chatting with the chatbot about the concept you can constantly talking about the same concept and chatbot also uh, understand what happened before what are the answers and questions are between uh, you and the chatbots and that helps to increase the quality of the outputs i hope this video was useful for you i'm gonna keep adding more new interesting ai videos to my channel please do not forget to like and subscribe see you in the next video